So if y'all have been joining town halls for a while, uh, every once in a while we'll have Data Hub 101 where we kind of do a deep dive into a specific feature. Um, this time around, we're gonna do some advanced functionality and uh, advanced use cases within Data Hub. And today we're gonna talk about impact analysis. So um, for the sake of this, we are gonna talk about, uh, briefly talk about a fictional company called Longtail Companions, where every pet is exceptional. And in Longtail, they have a highly fragmented data stack. So within their adoptions team, oh, I should say that Longtail Companions is an adoptions agency and a pets, a pet supply store. And so within their organization, they have an adoptions team. That team is using Postgres and MongoDB for their, you know, for their application storage. There's an e-commerce and data science team. They're also using Postgres, but instead of MongoDB, they're leveraging Kafka to uh, manage their clickstream analytics. Um, then they realize that their data needs become a little bit too complex. So they hire a data platform team who can start to sync all of that data from all of those source systems via airflow jobs into S3, then leverage Spark to transform and process that data and land it into a central warehouse in Snowflake. And then last but not least, there's an analytics engineering team to actually make use of this data. So they're accessing Snowflake to um, transform their data using dbt, validate it using great expectations, and then ultimately surface it in Looker. So hopefully this is a you know kind of a familiar landscape for you all. And really it's just a, it's just to demonstrate that within a modern data stack, there are a lot of touch points across a lot of areas. And one thing that is uh, that can be really difficult to answer is um, if I'm going to make a change in a production application schema, what does that impact downstream? So maybe someone on the adoptions team is saying, uh, what could, like they want to make a change to the pet profile uh, uh, data set, but what's going to change? Like what's going to be impacted by that? Um, so with Data Hub, we have this idea of uh, impact analysis. So this is just a quick uh, screenshot of it. We'll go into a demo in a second, but ultimately choose your uh, choose your data set or your, your entity that you want to augment or kind of proactively understand what will uh, happen if you make changes to it. And then we can go into the impact analysis workflow. So if we go into Longtail's uh, Data Hub platform, and let's pretend that I am you know, on this adoptions team, I want to make a change to the pet profile data set in MongoDB, and I just want to know what dashboards are going to break from that. So if I go in here and just search for pet profile, this will go into our uh, centralized uh, uh, search experience. We love a good demo, live demo. This is great. All right. We love a good live demo folks. Let's go about it a different way. So if we go into MongoDB and look at our pet profiles data set, uh, for those of you who have been you know, using Data Hub for a while, you're probably familiar just with the, the idea of, uh, of looking at lineage. And so if I'm an engineer on this team and, and I see that there's, you know, if I wanna understand the impact, just looking at the first step of, of uh, lineage, all I see is one uh, airflow task. So, I mean, that's not like, in my mind, it could be like, well, that's not a big deal at all. But if we go into impact analysis, we can actually start to see that downstream of all of that are 65 charts, 17 dashboards, 10 data sets, two tasks across all of these different platforms. Um, so we're specifically interested in looking at dashboards that are going to be impacted. So if I, if I filter down to dashboards, I can now see that there are these 17 uh, looker dashboards all within this 10th degree of connection. So it's 10 steps down that change of, of transformations. And I now have a cohesive uh, set of entities that I know might be impacted. So if I want to um, get in touch with the owners of this, I can quickly download uh, a summary of these, open this up in good old Excel, which is on my other screen, here we go. And what you'll see is, um, both the, the urn for the entity, I realize this is a little bit small, let me blow this up for you. Um, you can see the name of it, it's a dashboard, but then I also have um, information about the owners that, uh, 
that uh, the owners of those resources. So I now have a, a, a concrete list of people to contact and I can be proactive in my communication and ask them or start to collaborate with them to make sure that uh, any of the changes that I push aren't gonna have an adverse uh, reaction there. So um, along with this, we also have information around, you know, the tags, the terms, um, and then also uh, explicit links out to those entities. So you can literally just hand this off to someone and then they can go do the research on their side or it's just, it just makes it so much easier to collaborate. Um, so yeah, so that's it for, uh, for impact analysis. This is one that I know personally, if I had access to this for the first seven years of my career in data, I probably would have saved six years of <laughs> researching what was going on. Um, so this is definitely something that I am a massive fan of.